Are you tired of living life in the fast lane, obsessed with getting things really quickly and feeling like you're in a race not only with yourself, but also all the others around you? If so, you should know that there is a different, more sustainable, happier way to grow and succeed. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can live your life in the slow lane whilst building up long-term success. Welcome everyone, and if you're new to the channel, I'm Kieran Panchow, and here I help you navigate the crazy decade that is your 20s. So if you're trying to figure out life, just like me, consider joining me on this journey by subscribing down below. Now we've all probably heard or maybe read of Aesop's famous fable around the hare and the tortoise. And for those of you who maybe who haven't heard of it or are not familiar with it, it's a very simple story about a hare and a tortoise who are in a race. The hare is obviously much quicker than the tortoise and the hare bombs off straight away, gets a huge lead, becomes very complacent, you know, takes a nap, chills and relaxes, and ultimately the tortoise ends up winning the race. And the lesson from the race is that actually slow and steady wins the race, not fast and complacent. And actually what I've realized more recently is in today's world, that lesson about being slow and steady is even more important. Uh, and I feel like it's a message that seems to be getting lost across social media and across everything we see because we're so, so obsessed with viral growth, growing really quickly and you know, focusing on that outcome, focusing on that result that we want rather than understanding how to take things slow and steady to ultimately win the race. This is a lesson I have been reminded of recently by reading this book here, The Way of the Tortoise by Matt Little. So Matt Little is a very famous and successful sports coach here in the UK. He's coached some of the biggest athletes here in the UK and in particular Andy Murray, who he was coaching for around about 10 years during his most successful phase when he was winning Wimbledon and all that type of stuff. And in The Way of the Tortoise, Matt Little talks about the things and techniques and characteristics and personality traits that form tortoises, those people that focus on long-term success and actually how to build that long-term success and also how he's shaped his own life to get away from the crazy fast-paced viral growth into a more slower and steady growth pattern which you and I can also copy. So moving to the slow lane may sometimes seem quite hard, right? It's really difficult to picture how you can go from where you are today to getting in the slow lane, particularly if you live in a big city, you're surrounded by lots of people doing things, you know, you're on the tube and it's lots and lots of people all the time, you're in the high streets, you know, all that type of stuff. And it's very easy to get swept along with the whole fast paced living, particularly of city living that most of us probably watching this video live in. And so what Matt Little talks about in the video is rather than focusing on the external, focus on your internal, focus on yourself and some of the things that you can do to help move yourself into a slow lane in terms of how you act and how you think rather than just being swept along by your kind of external environment. And so in the book, Matt gives four characteristics of how to become a successful tortoise. The first is loyalty. Now loyalty has become a really weird word. Like I feel like with my parents' generation, loyalty was a word that meant that you stayed with someone for a long period of time, whether that was a partner or a company or a phone contract, whatever, you know, you were loyal and you expected something as a result of being loyal. Now in today's world, I think we view loyalty very differently uh, because you don't have to stick with the same company. For example, you know, in my five, or no, in my seven years of working, I've moved to four different companies, right? It doesn't mean I'm not loyal to those previous companies. I'm just taking the next stepping stone in my career. And so what, what Matt means by being loyal is finding out what you want to be loyal to is really, really important. So spending that time to think about what's important to you. So say for example, in my case, you know, I, I really want to make YouTube videos and you guys know my goal of becoming a full-time YouTuber. So I'm really loyal to YouTube, for example. And for you, that could mean your company. You know, if you really want to grow and be successful and, you know, really hit a CEO position, for example, in an organization, then you might decide that actually being loyal to your organization or being loyal to a particular group of people in your organization might be the right thing for you. But taking that time to choose and think very carefully about what you're loyal to is what Matt describes as one of the key characteristics of a tortoise. The second is passion. It's around your kind of energy and conviction in terms of what it is you're doing. Now there's a famous quote or something from a panel from Steve Jobs where he said that you have to have passion for something because you're never gonna see results straight away. And actually any logical person probably would have stopped two, three, four, or even five times before they actually end up getting to that successful place in the end. And that's exactly what Matt talks about in the book. You have to focus on those one or two things that are really your core passion and put all your energy into doing that. It's very easy to 
want to try 10 to 15 things, but actually narrowing yourself down and focusing on those one or two things and making sure those one or two things are something that you're really, really passionate about will really help you live that tortoise type life and will help you, you know, keep going even when things aren't going so well and maybe you're not seeing the success that you want. That passion is the thing that will keep you going. The third is positivity. And the way I like to think about positivity and even negativity is that both of them are infectious, right? So when you're around someone that is really positive, it makes you feel so much better. I know when I'm around people who are in a really good place, I wanna keep going back to them because that, that energy is just so infectious. And actually it's the same from a negative perspective. If you know someone that is overly negative all the time, you know, always complaining about something, all of that type of stuff, that energy is also infectious. So, you you know, I have tried to at least, and you guys probably want to do the same, re reduce the amount of time that you spend around those types of people. But having that positivity and sharing that and being very open about that is again, something else that Matt talks about in terms of those tortoise type characteristics where you have to be positive regardless of whatever is going on. Because if you're not positive, Nobody else is going to be positive for your goal or ambition. So you have to be that driver. You know, you have to be that one that goes out there and is always positive about achieving that goal or ambition of yours. The fourth is about generosity. Now, Gary Vee is like the king of advice when it comes to generosity and in terms of talking about giving without the expectation of receiving. Now, in, in the world of YouTube, it's very easy to talk about generosity, right? You know, for example, from my perspective, I'm putting in the time and effort and money and all that type of stuff to create content that hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, and ultimately, I would, I'm hoping that at the end of this journey, whenever that might be, that I'll reap some benefits of all this hard work and money that I'm putting in now. But the thing is, without putting in this grind now, that, that benefit will never come in the end. And so actually your generosity doesn't have to be money. It can be advice, it can be time, whatever it might be, but just putting yourself out there and being generous to others will ultimately help you be successful in the long term. And actually it will help you build relationships and really, really strong relationships along that journey, which you will actually find are probably gonna be the best things about that journey, not hitting that goal at the end. If you take only one thing from this video, let it be that the happiness is actually to be found in the creating, the journey, the crafting, rather than the outcome and the result. And I've realized this as I've got older, that actually once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm just gonna wanna hit 10,000 subscribers. And so actually what I should be focusing on is that happiness and joy I wanna create out of that process, the relationships I make along the way, and all of those different things, because that's ultimately what's gonna make me happy over a longer period of time. And so if you guys are thinking about how maybe you want to move your life into the slow lane after watching this video, I've made a video, there'll be links somewhere here about how you can make Sundays your lazy productivity day, how you can have a chilled day, but also still feel like you're adding value to your life and doing productive things. And so if you wanna read The Way of the Tortoise by Matt Little, there is a link down below where you can go check it out. It's not too difficult of a read. Uh, it's a good, good bedtime reading if you wanna figure out how to just take things a little bit slower and embrace some of those tortoise-like characteristics. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already for more weekly content. And thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.